Well, howdy folks and welcome back. We uh, we got this and it's an enclosure for laser and it came with the ComGrow laser. This thing looks like it's got a fantastic sale price on it right now. I think it was 169. That is hot for a 10 watt diode laser with the features this one seems to have. But this comes in with another part that you can order, which is an accessory, just like the, the large uh, honeycomb plate is another accessory from ComGrow that you can get for your laser. This item here threw me off a little bit. It's a full enclosure, but it's, like, it's in a small box. So I'm gonna get the box unloaded here and we'll take a quick look at everything that comes in the box for the enclosure. And remember, you could probably put this on any laser. Well, we'll see. Okay, so I emptied the box and here's what we have. I, like I mentioned uh, last Thursday, I got a pair of gloves in here for some reason. Got really basic, simple instructions. They don't look, you know, they doesn't look like too much is going on there. A lot of little plastic fittings to put uh, this big pile of pipe together with, which is obviously going to be the frame to this uh, structure. Also, we have an exhaust, uh, exhaust port and then we have this nice soft uh, cover from ComGrow. All of this will make this box-like tent that will go over the laser. So, yeah, let's um, let's assemble this and uh, see how we do. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of like camping. <laughs> so far, so good. The first part was to just take these little elbows out and connect all these pipes together. And the instructions are kind of pretty basic, but if you do the math. You'll, you can pretty much figure out where all these pieces uh, belong. I've got two short ends to go out here yet. But uh, then we'll wrap it with the cover. It's, it's kind of a sturdy little uh, frame. It's kind of, kind of cool. Okay, I've got, the, uh, I've got the cover together as far as I've got this on. Now, the next thing, we've got one more piece here, I guess, and that's to put this over here where the exhaust port will be. This thing is really quite large. Uh, maybe we should get, I'll tell you what, why don't we get a tape measure on this thing so i just tell you what it is. Just, I'm gonna measure the inside because obviously that's what everybody would worry about. But uh, from bar to bar, we're about, uh, whoa, about 24 and a half inches. That's the width. The, uh, from the front to the back, again, about 24 and a half. And the depth, Roughly, let's go from the bottom to the top or something. It looks like a total, ha, huh, almost 13. Well, I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna say about 12 and a half deep this way. So there you go. That's in American, yeah. So this thing is actually quite large. So obviously you're not gonna have any trouble covering really anybody's uh, laser. But what a cool cover. It's also got this nice tinted window on it. And right now, I guess the next project is to install this uh, exhaust port that we're gonna have here on the side. I'll be back. Okay, don't use this, but I did. I gently, <clears throat> I gently put the screws in. There's four screws that hold the inner, uh, I guess we'll call it the inner plate in, in it, on the inside, and then you have this on the outside, and you just have the four screws to hold it together, and there's a plug. If you don't wanna use this feature, I guess you could just put this plug here for the time being until you're ready to hook up the uh, exhaust, which uh, I think we'll probably try to do that next. But I want to put this on top of the machine too, because I need more space on my table. This is, <laughs> this is wow, big. So I put the enclosure over top of the, watch, look at this right here, the laser. This is kind of an almost, you know, for safety features for a laser, I think this is like almost a must, you know, something you really should have. Also, you have this tinted uh, shielding on the front that can be, it's double zippered, so you can sort of flop it back and that, that way you can still put your parts or whatever it is you, in here, your projects, and take them in and out without, you know, having to get rid of the cover or something all the time. The next thing to do, I guess, is to hook up the air purifier. Man, this thing is weird. Huh. Look at how big that thing is. <laughs> and it fits right over top of this huge honeycomb plate from uh, Combro. So Combro must have really, you know, they obviously thought this out. They put this together as a package. Air purifier. Let's do this. Okay, that's great people at Combro. They also sent this air purifier. So this is going to be another accessory that obviously is going to vent and hook up to this thing. but. First thing you gotta do is we have to open the box and see exactly what did they send us. <laughs> and it's a big heavy box, so yeah, foam packing, of course. 
Oh, yeah, okay. that's the first thing I was wondering about. <laughs> I guess. So after unboxing everything, I hooked up the uh, venting here to check it out and of course hooked it up to our enclosure. So we now can fully pull the air from the enclosure running through a HEP filter. There are three levels. It's 7,000 RPM fan rated for about 50 cubic feet of, uh, per minute, which is not a, uh, a lot of air, but it's enough to keep the smoke coming over here to the box so we can clean that air. And it is the air filters are serviceable. Uh, obviously with these clamps and stuff. The sound, however, let me see if I can turn it on. It's, it's, let's see if it'll start up. Yeah, there it is. It's a little loud. It's, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not bad, but there's one other feature that I thought was really cool. Let's see if I can get this out of here for a second. It also comes with this. This is a cool option because now you can directly pick the smoke up away from any laser or laser head. You don't have to have the enclosure necessarily. You could put this over top of your work area and again, suck the smoke and any stink, you know, up, up the pipe here, run it through your filter, which is like I said, it's a HEP type filter. So it's really good for, you know, <clears throat> it's gonna definitely clean the air for you. And that is a nice, it's a nice feature that they even added that in there because obviously not all, everybody's going to have an enclosure and have all this uh, area and pipe and stuff. So that is a cool hookup. All right, I totally uh, unboxed the air assist package, which includes the pump, some lines, some different fittings, and even a, a different head here. There's more here than you're going to need. And the reason was this kit will fit, uh, all the, it'll fit the different ComGro uh, lasers. The five watt uh, laser module has a, a hookup here. Also the 10 watt is different, but it has a hookup for it. And if you have the XT5 or 10 watt laser module from ComGro, same thing. You've got accessories here that will allow you to hook up to that particular unit. In fact, that XT, which we don't have here, of course, uses this piece here, which we do not use in this laser, but on the other hand, uh, there is something here in question. I'm surprised I didn't see something here for it, and I don't. No, nope. okay. Depending on which uh, laser from Comgro you have, you have all the accessories you need to get the air pump up and working. And if you've seen an air pump working, it is great. If you're cutting, if you're engraving, the air pump is gonna do, from what I've seen and what I've been told, it does nothing for you. It's really about cutting, cutting the wood, you know, cutting out your parts, the air pump will really help keep it clean so you don't have that black burn, you know, finished mark all over the place. But also, uh, when you're burning and cutting like that too, of course, the vacuum, of course, is going to do a terrific job to help keep the, uh, the fumes away from you. So I've got the Z110 laser module. So it shows me specifically what I need to hook up in order to install this on that Z, uh, the Z110 watt laser. And so that's why we have, you know, what looks like more parts than we need kind of thing. Uh, in fact, the Z1, by the looks of it, uses, I believe it's this hookup right here by the looks of it. And then the plastic tubing will, you'll push down and lock it into place right here. This will screw on and you remove the old, yeah, remove the old one. I, again, I wonder why they did it the way they did, but the lock screw is right above where you screw the air hose into, but that's, you know, it's probably the nature of the, it's probably a reason for it. One thing I don't see here, and I'm surprised, is um, I was expecting to see a red, you know, one of those red plastic guards like this idea with a slot in it for this to come out. So for whatever reason, uh, because I have the Z10, I don't use this. And I, I don't know if you could, not, I guess you probably could get, you know, funny with it and notch the plastic one out, or I guess if you wanted to. They also use, uh, a, there's a, some pieces here, and there's, uh, again, the instructions specify which type of piece you need in order to get this hooked up. And that's, you know, so it's not bad, it's just that uh, it's really nice that Comgrove did it this way. They, you know, one kit <laughs> does everybody, you know, so. Depending on which one you have from Comgro, that's the one you'd go with. Again, 
uh, we'll point this out real quick too. If you have somebody else's laser, I wouldn't buy this kit because chances are it's it's not gonna it's just not gonna work for you. Uh, I th really thought we had another hookup on the uh, laser head for this one for the air pump, and apparently I guess we do not. From what I'm seeing here, uh, it goes right down here to the nozzle and blows straight straight down. So. And these pumps, I've seen so many of these. They have these little rubber feet that kind of, you know, bounce around a little bit like this. And then you have, looks like a speed control. So you can actually uh, vary the amount of uh, air pressure that you're pumping. I don't see much need for that because I think I would just run full air pressure or I would run nothing, one or the other, you know. But, uh, wow, it's a lot of accessories we've covered today. The air pump, uh, we've done air pumps in the past. I don't see any big deal here. There's no reason to show you, you know, much more than the hookup, but uh, it's in the instructions. So, you know, yeah. Air assist, wow, nice. Comgrow has not only good features and they're very competitive, their prices are seem to be very, very competitive with the rest of the market. So if you're budget-minded, the, the Comgrow might be exactly what you want. Because, and they have all the accessories. If you go to their website, they have a ton of stuff. I will provide a link again for their website where you can find all this, uh, all these goodies. And don't be surprised if you get shocked by a good low price or something because they seem to have very, very good prices on all their stuff. Like I said, the laser, uh, could not believe it when I saw it, but it was like, wow, was like, you know, that's a great price. But they have, uh, they also have a rotary for this, uh, the, Z, the Z1 here. I don't have it, uh, but I do know it's available. I've seen it, so it's like, yeah, it's out there. This has been an amazing uh, day, which I, this is why I had to hold off, I guess it was Thursday. It would have added, what, 15, 20, 20 more minutes to the show to try to get all this in. And the, I myself, I wanted to go over the uh, accessories here for the Comgro to see exactly what they were, you know, what, what it was about, what we're dealing with. And uh, <clears throat> this enclosure is pretty amazing. And I imagine the price is probably very good on it, and yet it really could fit any psst, could fit anybody's laser. Oh yeah, the air pump. No, the, you know you'd, you'd have to have the Comgro machine in order to easily you know convert to this particular pump. But uh, they give you everything you need if you do have a Comgro or if you're getting one. Wow, wow, that was a lot of accessories to cover in one episode. But uh, Thursday we did the machine and the honeycomb plate. So the honeycomb plate was an accessory. But also today we've done the enclosure, the air purifier, and also we talked about the air pump, all from Comgro. And I gotta thank Comgro for sending all this goody stuff over here. This has been entirely interesting. This has been, uh, this enclosure is pretty neat. And I'll bet you, I'll bet the price is fantastic. I haven't seen it yet, but I'll bet it's a pretty good price. And any laser really should have one of these on it anyways, at least an open air type. Hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. We have contests. We're giving away a laser at the end of this month, and we'll be giving more stuff away as we uh, progress. But yeah, Comgrove and upgrades and laser. Huh. Wow, pretty cool. Over and out.